Hey guys, I'm back after a long while of actually making a live video. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to touch on a topic that is sort of interesting, comes up a lot in um, debates or just talks, and that is free will. And what I want to talk about is the fact that I don't think we have free will, and I think that although I like probably on YouTube it's fairly common that people um, who are atheists don't think that there's free will but I think that a lot of people who just don't really put a lot of thought into um, their atheism like the fact that they don't believe um, they still feel that they have some sort of autonomy that they have some sort of um, authorship to their actions and their thoughts and their will and so what I'm going to do with this video is offer a thought experiment that sort of helps clarify a way that we can understand why we don't have free will, why we don't author our actions, why it's just physics playing out. And so the thought experiment is this. Um, it, imagine the Big Bang and you have, um, let's say we're looking at it just as it's happening. And so there's the, there's the, energy and there's and there's all this uh this inflation expansion and there's heat and and all these things and and all the atoms are materializing out of this this heat eventually so as these atoms materialize let's just look at one of them and so and so we look at this one atom and i say okay we're going to follow this atom until the end of time until the end of the universe when everything goes to absolute zero you know, depending on, on what actually happens, there's like the, the heat death of the universe when everything cools down to zero and, and it's over, basically. Nothing changes. So let's just follow this one atom. And if we follow this one atom, what we're going to find is that everything that this atom does is controlled by physics, is controlled by quantum physics, is controlled by uh, just re uh, action, reaction, um, and it's simple. You, you, you can do simple simulations of, of everything this atom is going to be doing for the rest of the time in the universe. And so you say, okay, well, you know, that's like one atom. But then do that with the next atom that you find in, uh, just after the Big Bang and the next one. And, the, and every little parcel of energy and every little um, like moment of inertia calculated in, all these things. And then when you when you get to the very last atom and you and you complete this exercise what you have is it is a is an entire description of the universe with no holes it's and it's just physics because every single atom is just you know doing the physics uh, the, the physics and the physical interactions with the other atoms so there uh, to me this this view takes away the room that there might have been in people's minds that that maybe what happens in the brain is somehow different than the physical reality is somehow um, under our control but really when you look at everything that's that's happening to every single atom through the entire life of the universe it's only physics and no matter how it feels no matter how it looks no matter how we might want to interpret what we see ultimately it is just physics happening as, as it always will and as it as it only can because there's no other force to to alter that so um, give it a thought um, if you have any like comments about the thought experiment that you think you know like there's flaws to it or something then then post a comment but I, I think it's kind of interesting because because it forces us to look at our subjective experience of the universe and be like, wow, I, I have these thoughts, I have all these, these feelings, I feel like I author my thoughts, I feel like I control where I go. But to know that at either end, in the beginning and the end of the universe, physics is, is the thing that is controlling everything, then, then it must be true that in the middle, physics is also controlling things. Nothing, no, no miracles have, been, have interceded on the part of the human brain as far as we know and and so it's almost like solving a math problem like you have to get out what you got in what you put in and if it's physics in it's physics out and it's just kind of crazy to think about that all the complexity of life and all these things 
are just naturally arising from the way that the universe works. And I think that's pretty mind blowing in and of itself. Um, but yeah, there's the experiment and uh, let me know what you think. So good to be back.